Hey, I'm Anja and today I'm going to show you how to create a remarketing campaign for YouTube in-stream ads. In this video, I'm going to show you where you can find the remarketing tag that you need to install on your website. And I'm also going to show you how to build your campaign. All right, so I'm here in our AdWords account and as you can see, I'm in the all campaigns section. First of all, I'm going to show you where you can find your remarketing tag. That's the piece of code you need to install on your website to start creating your remarketing lists. Now, first you have to go to shared library and then you have to click on audiences. Now here in this box, you can see some information about our remarketing tag. Now, as you can see, everything is working fine for us. If you haven't installed it yet, you can click here on tag details and on setup. Now here you can see view AdWords tag for websites. This is the piece of code you need to install on your site. So make sure you do this as soon as possible, even though you might not want to create your first remarketing campaign this week or this month, you want to start collecting the data. So make sure you have this tag installed. Now, once your remarketing tag is installed, it will automatically create the first list for you, which is the list with all website visitors. You can also create your lists based on specific rules, but for now, we're just going to start with all website visitors. Now I'm back in all video campaigns and I'm going to set up my remarketing campaign just by clicking this big button you cannot miss. First, you're going to start by setting your campaign name. Then you can set your budget. We usually start with about $20 a day, but that's Singapore dollars. That's around 14 US dollars. This is really personal. You can also try a lower budget or higher, but it's something that you will notice once your campaign starts running. If you're not getting a lot of views, this could be due to your budget, but this is something you'll have to experiment with. For networks, I chose only YouTube videos because for example, video on Google partner sites, we're not always sure if our call to action or our annotations work inside the ads. So because we're not sure if people can actually click through, we're just going to click on YouTube videos and leave the rest unselected. For locations, we just set all countries and territories as well as for languages. Then here at video ad, I pasted my link in here. At first you will not see this, but once you paste your link, so the link from YouTube, you will see this preview. Now, if you're a viral member, you will see this link inside your dashboard as well. If you're using your own video, make sure you just go to YouTube, find the link and paste it in here. And then you will see this preview. The video ad type setting, uh, we don't change that. You can just keep it as it is. Then here you can set your display URL and your final URL. Now we just uh, used our own main website for both of them. The display is what people will see inside the ad. And the final URL is the link that people actually go to when they click. So this might be another page on your website, but it has to be on the same domain. We usually don't change the setting for companion banner. You can just leave it as it is or you can upload your own images if that's what you want. Then we unselect in display because we don't like running in display and in the stream ads within the same campaign. For ad name, you can just give your ad name a title. Again, something that is easy to remember. The devices setting, we also leave that as it is. And then there's the mobile bit adjustment. This really depends on what kind of ad you're running. For this specific ad, we chose to decrease the mobile bit adjustment by 100%. The reason we do that is because we don't want to show this ad on mobile devices. That's because the call to action is not optimized for mobile. So we want to make sure that people on mobile devices are not seeing this ad. Now, the schedule settings is something you can change if you want to, if you only want to run your ad for a few days. But in this case, we're just going to leave it as it is. For ad rotation, we use rotate evenly because it will show ads more evenly throughout the day. And then there's frequency capping. And this is one of the most important settings when it comes to remarketing. Of course, what you want is to remind people of your product and your amazing offer, but you don't want to annoy them. So in this case, we are limiting this campaign to two impressions per day for each unique user. That means that everyone on this list 
can potentially see our ad two times a day, but not more than that because we feel that is a little bit too much. Of course, this is something you can experiment with. It really depends on your goals and on your business and strategy. So just test it out and see what works best. For content exclusions, you can also just leave it as it is. By default, your ad will not show on mature content or on content that is not labeled. If you want to, you can make it even more specific, but we're just not going to change that for now. Then you can click save and continue. On the second page, you can start by selecting a name for your audience. Now, like I mentioned, the first list that will be created is the list all website visitors. So you can just call it that because it's easy to remember. Then there's your cost per view. You can start with a bit of 20 cents, for example, and then after a few days, see if you're getting views and you can adjust it later if you want to. Here you can see your demographic and your interests. We're not going to change that. And then there's narrow your targeting. Now, of course, at V-Roll, we've made it very easy for you to target placements, which you can find here as well. But in this case, we're going to click remarketing. Now we already have a lot of different remarketing lists in here, but the one we're going to use in this case is all website visitors. All I have to do now is just click done and my campaign will be created. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment below if you have any questions and make sure to look at today's blog post as well, which is all about what remarketing is and why you should be doing it.